Greetings star seeds. Welcome star brothers and sisters. This is a report now live from the star council. We have created a new word inspired by my friend Eric the Awake Man. I uh, consider myself of the star council and there are galactic missions for us to fulfill especially star seeds and those that are advanced to connect with the higher realms and those realms or places and spaces that call us so this report here is, will probably will be one of my favorite reports by my friend Duane with consent and allowance on his land and property the blind frog ranch and I'll tell you this I have to really tune in here to a lot a lot of things came in the land was calling me I felt something in the cave I urge you to watch the show on Discovery Channel um, I'm not working for them it's just like it's a, a really really good show about paranormal experience that are mind-blowing so I'm gonna give you a rundown before I give you the galactic download of the Star Council and those uh, that think like us it's the following uh, the uh, the occurrences on this land are basically um, from the psychic download that I receive is there's a temporal lock on earth there's an ascended earth and there's a fallen earth we're on the fallen earth so the temporal uh, time lock is kind of like a time displacement and um, as I can see here, 60 miles up and down, like in this basin, this lock is on this basin. So, <clears throat> and I say, let's imagine, because this is where I feel, that this, it was a place of a lot of underground ET bases. But what people misunderstand is, it's not a door and an entrance for you to enter, because the frequency is kind of, you can say, offset, like an atom away. That meaning, you wouldn't know that this is an ET marker. I'll, I'll later on show you an overview and a drone shot from what that looks like when the sun hits the right angle you will see the being and um, what the the message of the rock will tell you and from what we're getting is you see an ET that's kind of buried so basically ET is buried here that's what I'm getting so I don't know how deep this goes I had uh, somebody I heard somebody on a, on a panel from another ranch um, they said that their drones wouldn't take off because the drones believed they were 70 feet under. See, if you look at this from a technical point of view, you have no clue what's going on. If the equipment is not faulty and you think it's faulty, it's because there's an interdimensional displacement taking place. Meaning that where they placed the drone, there's an energetic spectrum of something that's 70 feet below exactly where the drone is. So you have to ask yourself why you're not digging there because when people are not psychic and you don't use psychics in the land, you're clueless. You have no idea, you don't know besides the data and experiments that you're getting to feel your way around it. And it's called occult science, there's a book on it, where people could scry into a mountain. Feel the energy that is permeating from the land, not just running around measuring, oh, we have a fluctuating field of ions. So the, the ionic field in the Blind Frog Ranch is I measured it with an ion meter, which you can buy for 50 bucks online. It's out of whack. It's up and down and left and right and here and there and minus and plus. It's all over the place. That means it's a highly, highly energetic um, um, space. Okay, so looking at systems from an interdimensional point of view is that cell phones will send a message from the other side uh, the message comes in patterns the patterns you have to put together to understand the message also uh, in these places whatever intent and wishes you bring with that will manifest if you have nightmares that you have un that means you have unresolved issues within yourself this place here is very peaceful very loving very heartsy there might be places and bases along this basin that uh, haven't been surveyed or bought yet that have the same technology underground, interdimensionally, and a little bit sideways, so for you to indirectly find it. So the Galactic Council decides, uh, they choose those to be chosen 
depending on uh, are you light spirited or dark spirited so the more light spirited you are you have a chance even the dark spirited ones and the denser ones have a chance when they're chosen i've seen cases with another ranch to wake up to the high dimensional aspect of what's to be investigated and that is what these places emanate and bring forth so what this place entails is that they you have to watch the, sh the show blind frog ranch and um Duane was told by a person from a galactic federation um might have been a walk-in and uh, correct me if i'm quoting this a little bit off but uh, i have the, the essential part it, it was told where to dig and they dug many places so the, the places where things start to occur is they start hitting the ground and they penetrated this blue soil so when this blue soil was penetrated it is my psychic perception that the time lock was uh, disrupted or opened or cracked uh, when that happened a fleet of ship ships appeared over this property the property had a blue glow and uh, uh, a lot of things went basically yeah kind of like science fiction where you who's, who's going to believe you probably even your own family unless you hear and you witness this here wouldn't believe you and then the ships appeared this entire thing got a blue aura and energy was released uh, not only that, as they were digging, they found a cave system. Um, uh, 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 the water basically came out of the cave system into a little pond, which is like kind of like has healing capacities. So that, that, that miniature pond where the entrance is to the, to the uh, cave has a lot, a lot of energy. The further you go down into where they found what, what they found, in the cave they found a box, like bo boxed up, sealed, wooden logs this thick, what I saw in the video the Sun dove th 30 feet down through the crevice into this thing and you see the, these ropes and you see the camera and somebody has secured something so let's assume I don't know 200 years ago maybe even further somebody was mining for either platinum or titanium well humans didn't know about that precious metal around that time that tells me that who would mine 200 years ago for platinum or titanium and even other other sorts of precious metal so the two major miracles we have observed here is the lake is energizing but it's not only the lake it's just me standing here my I'm, my my knees are like tingling the first day we arrived we were kind of like weak in the knees and like kind of uh, uh, you know lightheaded and as the sun rises, the lightheadedness increases. Like I feel like how the energy is jacking up and, and the sun is rising. That's why we decided to do this in the morning. And the second miraculous thing here is there's a vortex spot where they took sand and they put it in a smelter. And when you smelt sand, sand turns to glass. Everybody knows this, it's silica based, not on this property. The sand on this property within the vortex, mind you, there's still tests that they're running, turns to precious metal that defies the laws of physics. Uh, I heard other, uh, you know, doctors and, and physicians and, and, and physicists and whatever, uh, um, you know, they have their doctorate, they have their, their protocol talk. They don't understand the data. so. The inspiration to them is like, stop trying to understand the data. When you're dealing with the temporal time displacement of another timeline that is still here and emanates through the ground of whatever was left here by whoever was here from the future, it, that's just my feeling, um, you have to think outside of the box. Your data will look like crap. Your crude instruments will only read but so far. And uh, instruments will also fail because they're not built to measure that. Also, I have developed these uh, quantum technology chips that prevent uh, cameras, drones and systems. When you go into magnetic anomalies and you're unprotected and you have an open circuitry and let's say your equipment is not blessed, it has to do with energetics, well, it'll go, it'll go a little bit cuckoo. It's go, gonna go a little bit crazy. Expect that. Um, so I got to download at Mount Shasta that develop a certain logo that uh, preserves the electrical 
uh, uh, and molecular integrity of the device that you're controlling. And you put a sticker on it and lightning can hit and the thing will still run. Uh, we had somebody who had a, a, a blue fuse and the hard drive was not erased. Sticker on it. Uh, we put the sticker on a watch that hasn't worked for 60 years, wasn't even wound. Uh, the watch came back after a day and the funny part is that it was going backwards which the, uh, we went to like a watchmaker, nobody can explain that. So you can create phenomenon if you know how to learn to run programs in a holographic projection. That is a very convincing projection because your future fractal self has created that for you to explore and expand your soul system. So what the Star Council is observing is basically people like us, anything that we witness, any good treatment or bad treatment is reported to the Akashic. Not only to the Akashic, there are galactic councils that collect data through us. So some of us, for the hybridization, we have agreed to that. I have agreed to that. I don't have a, a, a group of many, many races and children where I gave my consent. So to me, it wasn't horrific. I don't have a horrific experience. The horror comes in that we have human conditioning and the human conditioning is the problem that we respond in fear when other dimensional things approach us. Like imagine a uh, Cro-Magnon sits in this cave and I, with my symmetric facial features in that suit, approach that guy. He would probably kill me. It has to do with where the levels of consciousness and development of species are. I have also a download that I received that probably 150 million years ago, I was a Cro-Magnon. I was a pre-human. I felt the consciousness, we had bigger brains, and I as an Arcturian origin went into that being to explore um, how these beings living from what we call primitive living on earth. So they were not primitive, they had bigger brains, bigger brains because they were also psychic. A verbal communication wasn't necessary because they were like empathically and psychically linked. So if they went on a hunt, the other tribe would know if the hunter was in danger. Um, anything that needed to be communicated was uh, empathically and telepathically. I, I would say even tele-empathically. So to now with the Star Council wants to transmit. You know, some people are like trans channels, open and closed. I, I call myself a galactic data streamer. I do that with eyes open. Uh, my voice doesn't change. And I begin to go into the flow and let this come in what needs to be propagated. So the Star Council basically wants to announce that many people are now being chosen to find lands that are under temporal locks. And they are keepers of the land. They're also the peacekeepers. And they are the chosen ones, whether they like it or not, whether they know it or not, to govern the opening of a new dimension. So these, these old ancient places and airports that begin to re-emerge uh, were placed in a time that you can imagine. Let me bring in a little bit of Sasquatch uh, memory. The Wookiee in Star Wars is Sasquatch memory. Why? They were basically, uh, they were the Jiberi Jiberians, uh, um, what are the other ones called? The Jau, the ja, the. Um, I know that the, the one called Jibori, Jib, Jiborians and uh, Jashun, if I'm saying that right. There are also other ones I don't want to mention. They're aggressive. They don't really like if, if you're in their territory. You have to understand they are, they are other dimensional. They can walk the ascended earth. They can also walk this earth. They, 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 they play with that. They can also cloak. Um, where they can stand like next to me and you won't see them. Only if you have an old camera and it's pixelated, you probably see a silhouette of something standing next to me. I had that in a movie, Taken, where I freeze framed uh, a shot where the hybrid son sits with the father. It's a series taken by Steven Spielberg, watch that. It's basically a documentary of why people have been taken. Why is your DNA covered? It? Why are uh, ETs, as, as in your, and you are there, understand, you are God's offspring. You are their offspring. There's a lot of politics and compartmentalization and cookie cutter crap going on, I have to say that. The problem is humans and their secret operations and compartmentalizations and greed is the major problem. Not reptilians, not Anunnakians, not Naburians, not reptilians. Directly not manifest here, not doing anything to you. Yeah, I believe there's an um, 
energy form that's archonic, like a bad force, like this is the duat as in dualism. As in there is a negative thing you have to work against while you're doing the positive work. As you go forward with your light work, you have to, you run into interference. I mean, we, we traveled here, we had interference. Uh, stuff that usually doesn't happen, you know. So I'm like, okay, you have to really look at patterns and things that are happening. So for this is also more for the advanced star seeds is look at the patterns. Look at why are things calling you. This land was calling me and I was right. Like I, 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 we camped overnight here. We tried to get sightings. We had sightings the day before, which I will show. We had golden triangles, uh, crafts hovering over the mountain range, and then one light coming on, a second light, a third, and they would jump. They would see a light behind a mountain that would move. Like we have a lot, a lot of activity. So I think that it is, is and was purposeful for us to be here to receive the land and if there's more downloads coming of course I, I, I will I will share more downloads with you so basically from the Star Council's perspective is what I observe is I'm reporting that back to them what peace is here what energies are here and as I drove even through the Valley of the Gods further out hundreds of miles away from here I perceived downloads like whispers and it, it, it sounded like a radio transmission and at first you can not translate those downloads but they but I was communicated to that these are upgrades for the soul and for what I'm, I'm about to do in the future and I'm dealing with healing and, and, and land energies that's why I'm, I'm going to these lands and measure this so this is my activation mission if you will and that helps me to facilitate um, better product, make the keys more energetic, make, make, make the things that I produce more active and activated. And this is um, very important for the furtherment and the development of these projects. And the future will hold this. Big cities might get empty over time. Uh, people will look at, you know, how much rent am I paying here? Uh, how much tax am I paying here? What's feasible for you for in your living situation? And especially with the entire Kool-Aid series we have experienced is we have to really think about the restructure life right now and it won't be what it was two years ago. This has changed and you can't go back to this. We're forced into consciousness, forced into thinking for ourselves. Um, my uh, uh, galactic twin, Krista, always says that when she was contacted by ET's days, the ET approached her and said, let this be a non-automated response. Think for self. It's a very important metaphor is a lot of people are just replying. Their shells, they're not having their soul activated. They're like, mm-hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. And, and you're good friends you hang out with. And then you can say, what did I just say? And they're like, um, um, yeah, because they're not even there. They're not listening. They're not in their body. So a lot of uh, people are imaginary me's, which can turn into a esoteric psychology program, which we're not gonna go into. The main deal is to understand that lands will be found where interactive stuff takes place. You shouldn't be surprised if you see a tic-tac shaped craft coming out of a mountain but you see no entrance. It's interdimensional, it's time displacement. So you looking halfway in into the cor corridor not understanding where this is coming from. If you have Watch the movie Valerian, they put on these glasses and all of a sudden it's, it's a flea market and you can, you can buy, buy stuff. But in order to materialize what you buy, you need to go to customs and you have systems that run a program tag to whatever you acquire in that realm, you can bring into this realm. So this is kind of how Earth works and this is how Earth in ancient, ancient days was put under quarantine and it no longer, and Earth no longer is under quarantine. Earth is basically being opened to develop consciousness, to bring in technology. It's less suppression going on. If you're approached by anything unwanted or unnecessary, you report that back to there because there's no escape from what you're doing right now. And I don't care, and that's just my personal belief for my downloads. If you're a government, personal, secret operative, you're on Earth. There are rules and regulations. There are karmic and dharmic program modulations in this hologram as you collect that. If you work for self, behind the deal, black magic, you misuse, you upuse, you will be held accountable for that. And your soul will be deemed if you can go into another avatar or if you're going to be basically recycled. So you're not trapped, you're being recycled if you're not doing the job. Why do you think we've been here running this 
for 30,000 years. If, if over and over you make the same crappy decision for, for reasons of greed and what you want, well guess what? You will be shut down. Um, any holder of sacred land that is obstructed by any government agency, whoever works for that agency, you're in trouble. As in when you pass on or when you transition. What, what you're attracting, what you bring into you. Because the divine rule now and the divine law decrees that everybody that acquires land right now and helps facilitate healing facilities and activation protocols, these places will have galactic retreats, retreat centers where people can actually can activate it and heal. And the, 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 the basic uh, thing here is what the humans have to look at right now is healthcare and technology. This is where this interdimensional war has moved. Don't lose the I am in the AI. Let this be digital intelligence, but let this be divine intelligence. Assisting you, not running or leading. That's very important. The babysitter doesn't run the house. You run the house, you run the faculty, you are in control here. That is your, how do you say, your chore. That is your responsibility. And many, many keepers of new lands will come Many, many paranormal surveys will take place. Um, we, want to, we want to inspire also, create a paranormal map with all the sites you can find in the US and print that and put it out for sale. Wh whoever gets the idea, take this idea right now. The council wants that to be done so people have an orientation when they travel or do their own pilgrimage. Because the pilgrimage is going away from, sorry, religion, rely on jinn. Hmm, the jinn can be a trickster, we, we, we never know. Religio also rely on the unknown which is promised after death. Still uh, control mechanisms. So um, as in spirit awakening to the true nature of the self, the religious aspect will kind of fade. It'll come into a spiritual way of life and then it'll, it is known to what works. It's not about metaphors that people don't understand or cryptic sentences in holy books from the Torah, the Talmud, the Quran, the Bible. Uh, there's a lot of alchemical word wizardry that people don't understand anymore because they're not educated. The shamanic treatment is missing. So, example, uh, Jesus, your Messiah, as in everybody knows that Messiah, that Messianic figure. You all have Messianic codes in you, mind you. And he said that, but that's not in that Bible because, you know, certain um, um, forces didn't want that in their moderation for you to know. So if, here's an example. Jesus went into the desert for 40 days and 40 nights to speak to God. If your brain is in a state of 40 hertz, 40 days and 40 nights, and you're in a gamma state, you're in full contact with your oversoul, hence higher self. That's God. Not what's portrayed in books and personified. It is in your oversoul connected, your stream, you're streaming yourself from the future. You have a higher self and, a, and, an, and an oversoul that is the powerful, you can say, cloud server of the collective where you you stem from. So you're running this. The suit is like a zip file, uh, as an interdimensional explorative suit for you to explore time and dimensions. And then all of these dormant things, as in junk DNA, will be turned on when you go through the land. The Star Council is very, very delighted that people. And where are a few, a few activated into missions, find the Blind Frog Ranch, find Mount Shasta, find out where to go to experience what science can't explain. That opens you up to collect actually new data and create new data and maybe build new devices to create new systems to find out what you're actually having, having to measure. Because ionic fluctuations in the field, what, what machine can measure that? You know, is that built yet? You, you can see them going up and down, but is, is, is anybody having the capacity to read a pattern? That's what we're here for. This is what design, the design is for. And this is what the Star Council wishes for you to wake up further, get the lands, acquire the lands. If you have funds or get the funds to get the land, set it up, see what's around you. Many ancient pyramids look like rocks right now, interdimensional timelines, things have shifted, and if stuff was here, let's say 10 million years ago, you, you have no idea what you're looking at. A demolition, something took place here, so open your mind for new fields, new endeavors, and new experience, and um, 
We will report to you with whatever paranormal things and ongoings we have captured. And we're still on survey, studying the land, seeing what's coming in and uh, yeah, uh, more to follow, more to see. So this is the construct. The Star Council is for these keepers to open up the space to understand this is an interdimensional port. And the uh, ET councils are testing the keepers of the land with riddles and things and signals from the other side to dissolve that, to see if by consciousness they're worthy to make contact. This is the mission, this is the protocol, and uh, that shall help you for your further studies. So this is Commander Ra from the Star Council reporting live, and I'll see you most certainly on the flip side.